Pikes Peak has very unique characteristics from a race standpoint. It's one lap up a mountain. It's cold, it's high in elevation, up to 14,100 feet. The air is thin, the tires don't work as well, the cooling system doesn't work, the aerodynamics don't work, the engine doesn't make as much power. It's wildly taxing on the car. It's exciting, it's in this awe-inspiring backdrop of this huge mountain coming out of the Rockies that at the starting line you're looking up and you're like, I can't believe that's the finish line and you're looking miles away. BBI Autosport is a tuning shop based in Huntington Beach, California, and we specialize in modifying Porsches. These cars can do anything. They can do hill climbs, they can do Baja 1000, ice racing, Perry Dakar, 24 hours of Le Mans. Aside from monster truck racing, there's not a whole lot that these cars can't be modified to do. The car on my left is the Huna Pegasus. We built this in conjunction with the Hoonigans and Mobile One for Ken Block to drive at Pikes Peak. This car is loosely based, and I say loosely, very, very loosely based on a 66911. The only real part about it that is that is the roof, but everything else is bespoke. It's not a rear engine anymore, it's a mid-engine, methanol breathing, 1400 horsepower, all-wheel drive beast. This is the first time we've ever designed and built a complete car from scratch. We started with one small pipe, and then from there we built a car in Fusion 360. I am Dmitry Orlov, and I am in charge of engineering, product development, and operations at BBI Autosport. Fusion 360 was kind of a no-brainer choice for us because Scandata is pretty much the first step in any project that we take on. It just gives you that 3D image that you can start building off of, be it an engine or a chassis or even just a simple part. You have a digital copy of it and then bring it into Fusion, which just works so beautifully with that kind of data. With almost a click of a button, we can go to the manufacturing side of it and then I can throw it on the CNC machine and crank out a prototype. When making headers or making intercooler end tanks or intake manifolds, figuring out how an inlet and an outlet are connected with a body it can be really time consuming and generative flow can really give you a very good recommendation of what that body should look like. The car on my right, her nickname's Lucy. It's based on a 2015 991 GT3 cup car. We would then twin turboed it, took it to Pikes Peak in 2019 and got a record. It still holds the fastest 911 to ever go up Pikes Peak, which is pretty cool. And she and every one of her one-off bespoke components have been designed and built in Fusion 360. We utilize the same processes we do for the race cars here as we do when we're going from idea to product to validation to consumer and building a consumer-based product that we can scale and put into production. The 993 that's right back here, that has a tremendous amount of components designed and built with Fusion 360 exactly as we'd approach the race cars. Fusion 360 really takes a grassroots motorsport shop like us and elevates us to a level playing field. 